Oh, so you came back for some more food fantasy, where I'm finally home and we can get back to it. Yes, I am eating cookies at, uh, 3, 4 to 2 a.m. Oh. And I must say they are delicious. Also kind of dry. <laughs> okay, so, last time on Food Fantasy. Sounded like a Dragon Ball Z person there. <laughs> Okay, now we go into the main story again. That's cotton candy or boxing gloves? I don't know. But, I, do, I will say that I need at least 24 more, more thousand of those celebration tokens. And a couple more of those to get 100,000. And get inducted into at least getting at least one shard of turkey. I mean, come on. I need 100,000 of those. I have 80 something thousand I don't know but I'm excited let's play <clears throat> I gotta be very very quiet because Elmer Fudd's over there hunting rabbits in Sleepland. the trio saw the auspicious joyful atmosphere and their tension gradually dissipated ooh wait what what was the previous thing we did hmm I may need to eat a cookie in order to figure that out hmm the cookies are telling my taste buds that we went through this whole debacle of the wine that was taken from Rice's shop. And the whole of the shopkeeps that actually had all these games actually somehow wound up with one extra one, one extra wine that they were going to use for the special prize. Then we met cheese and pizza and pizza and that was fun. I don't know, maybe it's the uh, Halloween version, but maybe I've just grown to like them as a trio. Maybe someone else will grow on me like that. I don't know. To me, that was just so unique and I loved it. It was the best writing. I don't know. Anyway, Rice, do, you, do the people of the Light Kingdom really like festivals? The Divine Lord even specially sent invitations out to every country. Okay, the, there's a lot of this talk about the Divine Lord, but who is he? I don't know. Tell me it's Tuna Boy. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm the Divine Lord. Everybody bow down to Tuna Boy. Tuna Man Master. Tuna Boy Master. I don't know. Yes, the people of Light Kingdom all love spectacle and the Creation Day Festival. It also includes a blessing to all of Tierra. I mean, man, look at the difference. Ross's model is so huge and adorable. Turkey's model is so small. Is there any reason why it's so small that it couldn't be scaled up a bit? Or is Ross just a very tiny giant? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Is that it? The Divine Lord's hopes that on this day, the entire continent of Tierra would be able to forget all of its sorrow and conflict. Okay. That usually never goes over well. Everyone can come together and celebrate a wonderful day, creating the most wonderful memories. We, he wants to give everyone the most wonderful creation day. There's a lot of commas in that sentence. Why is there so many commas? Is that her uh, stopping to think like, oh, wait, what should I say? Hey, don't worry, Ross. I know exactly how you feel. I do the exact same thing. Don't you worry. You'll get better one day. I think. I hope. Existential crisis over here. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. But Master Attendant says it may, it may just be that the Divine Lord has nothing better to do. That could be also... Wait, oh man, that means that was my, that was my shop, no, no, now I'm gonna get the blame for it, no, no. Tuna Boy's gonna get chopped into tuna bits and sent off into can of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Rice gave turkey and eggnog a smile. The sincerity of which no one could doubt. Eggnog, do you think what Rice said is true? Whether it's true or not, this festival that the Divine Lord organized has brought everyone a great amount of joy. A lot of people hurried here just to take part in this celebration. I'd say so, you dummy. We should also enjoy the festival, so the organizer's hard work doesn't go to waste. Well you, you, well, you might want to go look for the wine. You know, it is very important, you know, 
very, very important. Probably in the end, it's not going to be as nearly as important as all the other wines combined. Over there, it looks really lively. Oh man, there are too many people. I can't see. Eggnog looked left and right, laying that turkey who was standing in his tiptoes. Wait, he has wings. He can fly, right? <coughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. The corners of his mouth slanted mischievously. He reached out his hand and wrapped them around turkey. Wait, oh, was egg eggnog doing this? Having him sit on top of his shoulders. Yay, just like Vic McNyanya. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I had to bring that up. I don't know. Sorry, I was eating a cookie. What? Stop screaming. Can you see or not? I, I can see. It looks like an arm wrestling contest. The championship prize is the Divine Lords of Vitality Wine. Like always. Arm wrestling? We'll be okay, right? Rice, look. Oh, I got spit all over my screen. Rice looked a bit worriedly at eggnog and turkey, whose wrists weren't much thicker than her own. Wh what does that have anything to do with a conversation? <laughs> what? I don't understand the concept. Whose wrists weren't much thicker than her own? Does that mean she is has the same type of wrist they do? Seeing her worried expression, Eggnog couldn't help grimacing. A sudden burst of brusque, brusque laughter, along with cheering from all directions, drew their attention. But what? Where the heck does a wrist come in at? Why compare wrists? Hey, let's compare wrists out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I see. I, see, this little girl's got the same wrists. Just as all those burly men. Mm -hmm. Also, Kid Turkey, you're a child. Hey, isn't that steak? No, no, I don't want to see steak. He mean, he devilly looking. You were all too weak. Is there anyone else? If not, then you can, you can turn over the, this jar of wine to me. Yeah, steak with a giant sword in his hands. Okay, okay, here we go. It should be easy. One. Yay. <laughs> I made no progress. No progress, baby. Needs a cookie. Jack body turkey who, after much struggling to actually chew his food while talking, had finally warmed his way through the crowd. He reached out with one hand and pressed it against turkey's head, mussing his hair just like a bunny. Ah, my hair. Hair? Why? What is the point of saying hair? Oh no, it's hair. Hair. Everybody has hair. It's like Oprah of hair. You get hair. You get hair. No, Matthew Santoro, you're bald. You get hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. It's been a long day. <laughs> didn't the two of you go visit the Divine Lord? What are you doing here? I don't remember that. Ugh, don't bring it up. What are you doing here? I don't remember this. Me. I came to participate in the arm wrestling contest. Of course. <laughs> I'm not even one worthwhile opponent. Hmm. Oh look, it's Red Wayne. Do you think other people are muscleheads like you? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What the? It's common sense, you dingling. It means other people aren't willing to compete with a muscle head like you. You're the only one who thinks you're impressive. Meh. <laughs> if you have that ability, you challenge me. Since you're unwilling to challenge me, it shows that you're afraid of losing to me. Well, that is kind of true. I mean, it is a contest after all. If you're not entering the contest because you're afraid of the opponent, you automatically lose. <laughs> you're too crude. That's life. Steak and Red Wine had grabbed each other's collars and <laughs> looked like they could come to blows at any moment. Gingerbread stood to so to one wait really, Gingerbread stood to one side, watching the excitement unfold to a jaded expression. With a jaded expression. Yeah, starting to quarrel. Do you want to step in? Nah, let's just let them beat themselves into a flaming pulp. Ooh, flaming pulp of orange juice. That'd be awesome. Don't worry, 
They're always like this. They have a good relationship. Yeah, they have a good relationship. Every time I tried to talk to you, Gingerbread, you kept saying, Oh, you know I may turn on you at any moment. Also, don't touch me, you crude. I mean, come on. Come on. I only asked you to be manage the restaurant. You didn't have to say, I may kill you one day. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I thought Gingerbread would be nice, but... Pfft, nope. Who has a good relationship with this jerk? Oh, who could have a good relationship with this jerk? Well, you're perfect for each other. You see? Don't they get along beautifully? Perfect. Oh, of course. And, and you can see the expression on Ross's face and it just is like, I, I don't really get it. Someone explain, help. Help. My brain is not firing enough neurons for this to work. Wait, what are neurons? Wait. Just right over her head. She doesn't get it. I'm not sure if I do either, but we're gonna go anyway. Is it because I don't understand the friendship between men? <laughs> well, that could be one thing. I mean, when you're best friends, you call each other bad names. <laughs> and the next person that falls down the... It's like your best friend. You... One just waltzes down the stairs, and then they trip, and then they fall down a flight of stairs. You, there's like three people in the room. The one who is the best friend laughs. I mean, I mean, God's relationships in a nutshell. Number six. No! Let's go complete our duties without fail. I have hit fallen angels. I need to eat cookie in order to actually, uh, up. Yay, I didn't even get to chew one bar. I think that I can do better. Yay, one. I'm not even hitting it. Come on. Come on, Nick. You can do it. It's taking a while. Oh, there we go. The spectators in the vicinity gathered around red wine and steak. Red wine and steak gripped each other's arms tightly, straining so hard that their entire faces turned red. Except, wait a minute, wait a minute. Red wine's name is Red. <laughs> and steak is usually red because he got some fabulous red hair <laughs> okay he also got flaming swords which I'm not even going to touch on that but still faint cracks appeared on the table under their arms due to the pressure okay the two of them remained deadlocked for a long time neither willing to admit defeat never thought red wine would have such a strong arm he's more the tactile type of guy I thought well, steak is more of the brute. You can do it. Who are you? Who are you rooting for? Who are you cheering for exactly? Why? Both of them. Yay! Inclusivity. You get a trophy just for participating, and I get the wine because I told you to do what you needed to do to win, and you deserve to give it to me. <laughs> Who do you want to win? <laughs> Either one of them can win, regardless of who wins. We can ask him to throw, show us the wine. If it's the sacred wine, we can trade him one of the jars we won. If not, we can just give it back to him. Knowing red wine, he'd just keep it and probably fade into a gigantic bat and fly away with it. He does have a wine glass stuck to whatever that weird thing is on his tail? Is that a tail? Or is that part of his coat? I don't know. Sometimes you're actually pretty clever. Wow. <laughs> While everyone was focused on steak and red wine, waiting for the winner to be decided, a shadowy figure clearly quickly darted out in front of them and pilfered the vitality wine that had been placed on top of the display case. Oh no! No, 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 I don't want to do that, no. A sacred wine was stolen again. Oh, why does this keep happening? The mean. 
Oh, poor Rice. <laughs> Let's go complete our duties without fail. Okay, this time I'm putting you square into the concrete, and I'm gonna make you swim. I'm pretty sure if I replayed that, there wouldn't be one single frame. And this is recording in like 59 or 58 frames per second. There probably is not one single frame where that thing was alive. And I'll, I'll, I'll edit it. I'll edit it. I'll show you exactly where it's at. Here you go. See? Could be wrong, but you know, whatever. Not one frame where it was alive. I can guarantee it. Or I cannot guarantee it. I don't know. How is it you again? Don't you ever get tired? <laughs> How is it you again? Okay. I'll definitely grab it. Mark my words. Don't you look down on me. I'll definitely present that socket to Lady Linogami. Just use weight. Well, first off, it's wine, not sake. Sake is a lot more like whiskey. Wine is definitely not whiskey. Ah, oh, he ran away. Mmm, what, what a shocker. Oh no. Seeing him like this, I feel a little bit sorry for him. Oh no. She getting empathy. Forget about it. The wine's okay, and that's all that matters. Steak, would it be okay if we... The trio turned their heads to discover... No one won. Hey, did you two keep arm wrestling while we were busy fighting a fallen angel? We figured you had it. <laughs> uh, huh. Don't talk to me. Don't. Today, I'm definitely going to teach this bastard a lesson. The role of teacher has yet to be decided. See, what is that? What is that? I'm not sure what that is. It looks like... Oh, that's got to be something like part of his armor. It's part of his sword, right? Hmm. Man, these two are weird. Then, can you let me take a look at this wine? Take it and go. Don't distract me. He... he, he did, either he's too focused, or he didn't really want the wine. If those two started brawling right here, right now... I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be either. But I'd certainly be around to watch because I, I, I don't know. I think it'd be entertaining. <laughs> Never mind, don't pay any attention to those guys. Rice, quick! See if this wine jar is the sacred wine. Rice accepted the wine and inspected it closely. Turkey and Eggnog looked at her expectantly, but she gave her head a helpless shake. No, I can see the sunshine rising in the corner of the, of the sky, no. There's a curvature of the earth. Now, I gotta stop saying that. Never mind, we should have known. Let's move on to the next stall. Steak, red wine, we're leaving. I'm putting your wine over here. <clears throat> oh, wait, red wine won, didn't it? It looks like those two don't have time to respond to, your, to you right now. Let's go. Oh, wait, he didn't win, huh? Looks that way. Looks that way. Okay, receive. Yay. More story. Oh no. Sharpsuiter competition? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Wait a minute. I have basically 4,000. So I need uh, 20,000 left. Or 20,050 left. Okay, let me look in the story. Oh, I'm halfway through. <laughs> I'm only halfway through? No. That is stupid. Let's go. 3,000? Yes. The trio's pace gradually slowed. Eggnog appeared to have spotted an acquaintance, and he ran ahead of Rice and Turkey. Turkey and Rice were unconcerned, and followed him in a leisurely pace. Okay. Rice, Rice, what exactly is this sacred wine that we're searching for? Why is it so valuable? Valuable. Blah. The sacred wine that the Divine Lord gave us is to say, is said to have the effect of granting humans immortality. Oh no. That is very bad. The reason the Divine Lord is able to live so long is because of this wine. Wait, immortality as in permanent, as in one swig, you're dead, you're done? Or do you have to keep drinking it, or you turn into an old man? Or I I don't know, open shop. I'm not sure I'm telling you what I'm doing. I don't know. 
Wow, they're so amazing. And no wonder everyone wants it. Yes, but for this festival, there's only one jar. The Divine Lord will give it to the luckiest person at the festival. The luckiest person? Mm-hmm. During the fireworks display, at the end of the festival, the Divine Lord will select one lucky person and give them the sacred wine. Not if we don't have it. Then we ought to hurry. There isn't much time until the fireworks display. Oh, no. The two of them were caught up in their conversation and didn't notice the several dark shadows were creeping up behind them. Eggnog, standing not too far away, waved at the pair. Hey, you two, come quickly. There's a jar here, too. Turkey, look who it is. Champagne, you're here, too? Wait, isn't champagne that lavish luxurious guy with long flowing kind of pink silverish hair yeah you know when you look at eggnog and then you look at champagne I mean holy crap that is obviously drawn by two different people right I mean he just looks formidable what the heck is that champagne has a chandelier <laughs> Oh, you came too, chickadee. Chickadee? Oh, I get it. Turkey, chicken, man. Want to compete with me at marksmanship? No, but I'm sure uh, uh, Black T would. The trio looked where Champagne was pointing. The shopkeeper at the shooting arcade had his face buried in his hands and was sobbing bitterly. What'd you do, Champagne? Champagne and the food souls behind him had all sorts of dolls and toys piled up around their feet. Aw, oh, shopkeeper, why are you crying? Oh, no. Well, I'm ruin. Ruined, I tells you. I have to give them all those dolls. I won't recoup from my overhead this time. What kind of accent was that? <laughs> the people standing in the front of the stall didn't stop what they were doing on account of the shopkeeper's wailing. What? I mean, isn't the whole point of the, you know, uh, a game stall is to, you know, get all the stuff? I mean, the whole point is to get money from people playing it, right? We're not handing them money, are we? <laughs> not out of our pockets, right? Ross, please tell me you didn't steal my wallet. At first glance, I wouldn't have thought a girl like you would be such a precise marks. Oh. Black tea, huh? You're not bad yourself. Shall we continue? The game is tied. Nope. Oh, Napoleon Cage. Oh, he does have a gun, doesn't he? Don't forget about me, you two. This round, my score is even higher than yours. Oh, dang. There's a lot of people with guns. Ooh, I'm liking this even more. Well, I'm begging you guys. Just go. I'll, I'll give you the Divine Lord's Vitality wine. Stop the competition. Why? Just get money. Man, money is awesome. But hey. At least I... Okay. Champagne, what kind of competition is this? Shooting! Nah, I thought I was fishing. You know, just fishing and... Oh, it's on the line. Pew, pew. You miss both times. It is two inches from her face. I finally found some people who can keep up with me, so of course I'm going to make the most of this opportunity and play my heart's content. It truly is rare to come across opponents like Champagne and Napoleon. Napoleon? Thank you for your compliment, Miss Black Tea. However, I can't compare to Mr. Champagne. Oh, you nice. You nice. I like you, Cake. Napoleon Cake. I also like your flag. That's a cool looking flag you got there. You two are pretty good as well. Eggnog, what are they doing? Shh, study them well. This is what's known as mutual back padding. What are you talking about? It's just, it's just complimenting each other. It's like going on the tennis court like say, hey, you hit good, man. It's like, yeah, I'm not a man, but I'm a lady, but I'll take it. Oh, that's nice, lady. I love you. 
Okay, that's pretty weird. I'm just gonna go with it. Here you go. Here's the ball. Serve. Oh, that was a great throw. I didn't throw it. I meant my brain just went out the window. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. My brain goes out the window, too. Maybe our brains can go out together. See, there is this restaurant down the street. I want our brains to go together, too. You know, you know, not for a date or anything. It's just I want to try the new donuts. Why am I talking? Um, uh-huh. Oh, what's up, Rice? <laughs> um, I want to, to warn you. Those three staring right at you. Uh -huh. What are we doing? Champagne, who had already acknowledged the trio, strode towards Turkey, stretched out a hand and vigorously mussed his hair. <laughs> Ow! Don't noogie me. It obviously wasn't me who said that. If you don't need to get revenge, if you need to get revenge, give eggnog a noogie. Noogies. Noogies everywhere. Well. Wait. Was that the mutual back padding comment that needed a noogie? Or was it something else? I went on this gigantic tangent. <laughs> I forgot. As the three continued their competition, the pile of dolls at their feet grew larger, gradually becoming a small mountain. <laughs> Champagne, that's enough. If you guys keep playing, the shopkeeper won't be able to make an, a living. But I'm not understanding. So, is this free? Because... If it's free, he won't be able to make a living anyway. But, how does that work? Are we not giving him money to play? No way! I need, co I need to convince these two that they've lost. I won't admit defeat. Aw, oh, that's all. That's my black sea. I won't lose to you guys. Okay, that's my Napoleon, okay. But according to the current tally, my score really is a bit higher than either of yours. Oh well, that's because you had a head start of several shots. Plus, your gun is a lot. And I'm talking a lot more newer than Black T's gun. Black T's gun looks like a flintlock. Your gun looks like a Glock 32. A Glock 22. It could be a 32. Nah, it's probably a 22. I don't know. Hmm. Every one of your shots hit a doll worth the same number of points. If you continue like this, how will it ever end? There's just no way to determine the winner. I can end it. Well, see, here's the thing. If you have a limited supply of targets, the one who hits all the targets, when all the targets are done, you tally up, and then boom! That's what you call a winner. Ugh, shopkeep, I did my best. <laughs> Way! <laughs> Those are the most weirdest. Way! Okay. The three marksmen finally noticed the shopkeeper, who'd been crying for so long that he'd run out of tears. Oh, poor boo -bay. They were suddenly at a loss for what to do. <laughs> at that moment, a pile of wine jars suddenly appeared. A pile of wine jars suddenly appeared, breaking the awkward atmosphere. Why did so many wine jars suddenly appear? I thought, at least, I thought, I actually thought eggnog or turkey just set all the, the, the previous ones we've got that wasn't exactly the actually one we need. It was just like, hey, shoot this. Whoever wins it, poops it. <laughs> These are wine jars. We've already discussed this wine. You don't have to repeat everything they say. I know that. <laughs> I mean, you said that. <laughs> I mean, but why are there so many? Is it the sacred wine? Why oh, they're moving? Wait, what's happening? These are fallen angels. Wait, what? The trio had been immersed in the shooting competition, narrowed their eyes, turned turned their heads to look at the group of fallen angels, and flashed. Warm smiles. Haha, <laughs> it's a good thing you came. <laughs> Live. Moving targets will be a lot more interesting than these dolls. Let's go complete our duties without fail. Go show them, Black Tea. I'm rooting for you. 
Napoleon, I'm sorry, but you can't keep up with a flintlock pistol. You, you definitely can't keep up with a Glock. Your gun's just super old, French Revolution, man. Yes, that's where Napoleon cake is from, the French Revolution. There you go. Before Turkey and Eggnog could make a move, the group of fallen angels that had suddenly appeared were scattered all over the direction, in all directions, by a hail of fire from the three marksmen's weapons. I have eight over here. I also have eight. Champagne. Nine. Finally. Oh no, you did. You miscounted. Oh look, you got seven. <laughs> yeah. Try again. This time, you have to admit that I won. Alright, a bet's a bet. I'll give you all of these stuffed animals. Oh no. I'll give you mine too. Hey, B-52, when did you run all the way over there? Wait, what? Well, where did the heat come from? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. What the heck? Then, I'm leaving too. Until next time. Oh, ha, huh, as expected, I'm the strongest. Oh, you got a big brain, don't you? Handsome, weirdo guy with a giant gun pointed at my face. I don't know. But that hair. <coughs> I wonder if he's a vampire. He looks something from Castlevania-esque. Um, Champagne, permit me to ask this one thing. Did you guys battle it out for so long just for the sake of these baby dolls? Baby dolls. Of course. Check it out. A few of these dolls are really fun. A certain someone ought to like them. Don't all girls like little toys like these? I can safely say no. No, they don't. But you know what? I do. Can I have them? Can I have them, please? <laughs> I like little toys. <laughs> That's weird, but, you know. I collect. That depends on who's giving it to them. Forget it. I don't have the heart to tell him. Turkey and Rice didn't hear the last words mumbled by Champagne. They looked sympathetically at the cleaned-out shooting arcade, as well as the shopkeeper who was sitting in the stall, his face buried in his hands, sobbing bitterly. Now wait a minute. Those wine, wine, wine case things that were wine jars or something? Where did they go? Those were fallen angels. The wine was fallen. What? I'm not sure I follow that. Oh, wait. Yeah, they were in a, a thing, a pot. So that's a wine wine jar? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That poor shopkeeper. I mean, if he, he made money, <coughs> usually you just get like a certain amount of shots. That's just poor businessman move on his part, okay? Then, then aside from these few dolls, you don't need the rest. Could you return them to the shopkeeper? Running a business is very difficult. Well, duh. Oh, but that's so sweet. Champagne stared at Rice with curiosity as she timidly gave her... Gave her order? <laughs> Whoa. Gave her order? Whoa. I didn't know that was an order. I thought that was a request. Then turned his head to look at Eggnog. Champagne, is this another kid that you picked up somewhere? Oh, pfft. Don't overthink things. Oh yeah, let me see that wine jar of yours. Wow, you're still really rude. Since the young woman requested it, I'll give the, her this doll as a token of our first meeting and return all of the others to the shopkeeper. But what do you want with, this, with that jar of wine? The Divine Lord's sacred wine is missing and we're helping Rice find it. Don't tell him that. You really do enjoy making extra trouble for yourself. Take it. Rice, is it? No, we still got like, mm, I would say like 13 left. It isn't. Thank you, Mr. Champagne, but this one isn't the wine we're looking for. No problem. I hope you guys find your wine soon. I still have to go find a certain person who got themselves lost, so I can't accompany you. Goodbye. Who was that? Goodbye. <clears throat> oh, that was a little harder than expected. Goodbye, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm almost 100,000. 500,000 and I actually get turkey himself. And I will say this. The play celebrations. I can't do anything past level 
Eh, what was it? Level eight? I can't, all of them are level eight. I cannot do that. I'm only level 52, by the way. Let's see how much story we got. Oh no, we only like 13, no, 16 more. Oh, dang. Holy crap, it's been an hour. Fine. We're just going to keep going. Turkey, who was about to settle the score with eggnog, saw visitors come swaggering in, and he raised his weapon. Wait, what? Okay. Nothing against my baby, man. Rice, what's that really tall thing? It's a cookie in my mouth. Mmm, delicious cookies, but those soft cookies from Walmart. Mmm. This seems to be the equipment that they especially delivered from the Nebras amusement park two days ago. Do you really not know what it is? I heard some girls say that this was a that this was a tradition in certain regions of Nevros. After human children come of age, they did this to prove their courage. Later on, it became a type of festival activity. What? Prove courage? Oh, we got none of that. Ross, remember what I told you. Courage equals porridge. Runs real thick, but if you let it get heated up a lot it's gonna be really really smooth but if you let it cool down it's gonna be really really thick and ain't gonna go out the bowl I'm serious okay also you don't have courage around bears because you remember the Goldilocks story don't we no rice I told it to you four times <laughs> well uh, you kind of said you instead of Goldilocks so you know, you're the you're just the main character in all the 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 perfect perfect stories you tell me. You know, your main character. Right. What I say. You remember the story of me, right? Right. <laughs> okay. 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 That's it's going a bit too far. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Technically, I've been up almost 18 hours, and I have been doing a lot of work, physical work and mental work too. So. It's so, I'm so sorry, it's so tall. They had to jump down from the top. That's right, although their feet were safely bound to a rope. You mean bungee jumping. But nowadays it's usually treated as an amusement park attraction. Bungee jumping, hey, up on the highest level. What is that? It's a run, that, that couldn't be. It's wine, come on. Do these people love competitions this much? Maybe they think it's fun. I don't know. Ask Will Smith. He's done it. I went and asked. You have to just dare to jump down from the highest level and confirm the word written beneath it, and you can take the vitality wine. Right. What? Well, so high. You got wings, boy. Just go up. Just jump. And you're like, fly, spread my wings and glide down. <laughs> I don't know. I also have a bit of news. I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but wh what news? Tell us the good part first. The good news is no one's dared to go up there yet, meaning that the wine jar is patiently waiting for us to take it. Then the bad news? Oh, the bad news is perfect. It's gonna be something like, uh, there is no wine or you can't use your wings that because it's uh, cheating. None of our friends are around here, so we can't have them get the wine for us this time. We'll have to rely on ourselves and come up with a plan. That's not bad news, you dingus. I thought you were smart. You, 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 uh, I'm losing words. I'm, I'm becoming rice. I am becoming rice. I eat a lot of rice, but I am becoming rice. <laughs> Handsome face who woos all the girls don't know that the other person has wings and they can just like Fly. Or is that against the rules? Or did you even check? Ah, it's so high, I, I wouldn't dare go. Well, no, Rice, I wouldn't send you. That'd be dumb. That's why the two of us are here. How could we ask you to go? But, but, no, don't butt in. Turkey, are you afraid of heights, forgetting that you have wings? I'm not afraid. That's good. I was worried. If you were scared too, then there wouldn't be anyone who would go up there. Eh. Eh. What? I'm terrified of heights. Since you're not afraid of heights, 
I'll leave the this arduous mission to you. I, I, oh, he is, he is a smooth talker, isn't he? Didn't you say you're not afraid? No problem. You're the greatest. Go on up there. Go on, man. Go on. Eggnog wrapped his arms vice-like around Turkey's back. What? Several staff members who had been waiting idly for a long time clustered around Turkey. What? And outfitted him with a safety... Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Great. Oh, why does he have a halo? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <clears throat> Great. Now first the brave challenger has finally appeared. Everyone, let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Ah. Uh, challenger. What challenger? What are you doing? Let me go. <laughs> Little guys, don't you want to challenge the highest level? When did I say that? Your friend just helped you register. Oh yeah. <laughs> Turkey looked in the direction the shopkeeper was pointing. Eggnog had made his get, get away at some point and was now smiling at him and waving. <laughs> Rice hid behind Eggnog and shut her eyes. Her hands clasped at the as she solemnly play, prayed for him. Aww, oh no. Eggnog! We're finished! Your king is displeased! Wait, you're a king? You're a king? I know you had a crown, but you're a king? What? Me? What are you doing? What are you going to do? I'm sorry. I cannot be overly zealous because it's like uh, 530 in the morning. You, you get it. Rice hit egg behind eggnog watching the flailing turkey who had been pushed off the highest platform and was bouncing up and down in the air. His shouts were so ferocious that she couldn't help shrinking back. Couldn't help shrinking back. Shrinking? Oh, okay. Wah, he's screaming so savagely. Expletives everywhere. <laughs> Was it really okay for us to do this? Relax, he won't blame you. Turkey, you're the greatest. Don't forget you have wings. I hope he doesn't forget. No. Mm. Let's go complete our duties without fail. Well... Time for a cookie. I think that I can do better. Uh. One, no, one, no, one more. I can use this. I can advance. I can advance. Cash advance. I wish I had cash man. <laughs> or at least in this game. <sighs> Eggnog. I'm not letting you off. This time. I'm definitely not letting you off. Ah, stop bouncing. Let me down. By the time the staff members finally helped him back onto the platform, Turkey's expression had darkened. And it looked he might st <laughs> he might stab Eggnog with his dagger at any moment. <laughs> Oh dang, he went gangsta. I'm gonna shank you so hard. But did he did he get the the word? Fearing reprisal, Eggnog hid behind Rice atop the narrow platform. <laughs> what, Turkey? Don't be so angry. It's dangerous up here. This time, I'm definitely not letting you off. Turkey, if you're not hurt, it's fine. Don't fight. Yeah, if only that were that simple. You're the future king. You have to learn to be calm. Shopkeep, shopkeep, come here. Hurry and give him the prize. What was the word, though? Eh? Okay, okay. Let's congratulate our little hero for completing the challenge. Here's your prize. Hey, where's the prize? What, where are we supposed to get a word? For eggnog. Who'd been evading turkey? It felt as if he'd been delivered from damnation. He straightened up, pointed, pointing at several shadowy figures who were sneakily carrying a wine jar down from the amusement equipment and let out a big yelp. Our wine. Rice, look, they're making off with the wine. Let's chase them quickly. Ah, they're Garuda. Okay. Turkey, it's time for you to perform again. 
Don't say it like that. Oh, that, that, that's right. Turkey went through a lot of effort to obtain that. How can we allow fallen angels to make off with it? Let's go complete our duties without fail. Without fail. And a three, two, one, you did. <laughs> I think that I can do better. Sorry, I'm eating a cookie. They're tiny cookies, not huge cookies. Just so you know. We got it back. Rice. Quickly see if the if this is a sacred wine. It's not. Mm-hmm. Is this a sacred wine we're looking for? No. It's not. Alright. Turkey. Hurry and claim your spoils. This is proof that you've become a dependable adult. I'd forgotten all about that until you brought it up again. Eggnog. Rice, I'm going on ahead to search someplace else. You guys take your time. No need to rush. Oh, you smooth. You smooth. Uh, smooth criminal. That's what you are. You actually do fit the part of smooth criminal. Oh my gosh. Ah, nothing like water at 5 a.m. in the morning. I could do this again. Whee! Yay! Okay, I only need 15 more. One more. And I'll only need seven more. A bad omen. Or a good one. I only like 12 of these. We're going to finish it tonight. Okay. Okay, this is going to take a long time. I'm not stopping for anything. <clears throat> I got nowhere to be today. Still fearing reprisal, Eggnog ran far away. Turkey immediately set out to pursue him, but before long he returned. Turkey! Ugh, forget about it. I'm not that petty a person. Anyway, I couldn't abandon you. Yes, if you did, you're not fit to be king. Thank you. Rice, don't be corrupted by Eggnog's bad influence. Yes, please, I agree. I agree, don't don't give in to the wooing. I doubt I'll be corrupted. That's what they all say. That's because you don't know. Before, he always squandered my... Squandered? Before Turkey could complain about Eggnog's misdeeds, Eggnog's voice interrupted their conversation. Squandered my what? Squandered my, uh, money to give to ladies? Or crown? I don't know. I mean, he does have a huge crown on that little, uh, that huge, not little, huge bunny thing. Oh, it's a cute bunny. But man, where they come up with these designs? Oh no, I got the hiccups. I got a burp and hiccup at the same time. That's not, oh, oh no. No, not, not a burp, hiccup, sneeze. No, I don't want to do that. Turkey, rice, come quick. It looks like there's an amazing person here. Take a look. Oh look, it's Wang Shan Moe Feng Ti. Okay, whatever. Young man, I see the peach blossoms on your face. Excuse me? They symbolize the blossoming of youthful romance, but peach blossoms are cursed with a short life. Don't tell me that. I'm afraid this could become an omen of lost love. If you're careless, even your life itself could be at risk. Tsk, tsk. <gasps> oh. Go sip on a ladle. Ah, oh, what should I do? Great sage, you have to save me. Oh no. Well, you can. Well, you. Once you buy my patented save the day. Liquid bottle where you just take two sips a day. Here you go. It's four ninety five. Eight payments, by the way. Eight payments of four ninety five. Four ninety five, as in four hundred ninety five dollars, not four dollars and ninety five cents. Just to be clear. There you go. I feel that's how this is exactly gonna go. If I'm if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't I don't care. 
I would be happy to assist you. However, dispelling this disaster is no simple task. As you can see, as of late, this humble monk is bereft, bereft of strength. Bereft, I'm pretty sure if nobody knows what that means, it actually means being absent. Absent of strength or drained, I guess. It's a bigger word for drained, if you don't know. I use it in some songs I have. Ah, uh, I have this vitality wine that I just won in a competition. What's more, it was a gift from the Divine Lord. Please accept it, priest, and heal your body. Shouldn't you keep it, you know, just to heal your body? When you, you know, ah, uh, croak. <laughs> Boy, you dumb. You also look like every single other resident in the entire game. Are these clones? My, you are too kind. No, no, I must humbly refuse. I can't accept it. No, I still gotta be hand mighty. No, 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 priest. Dispelling the disaster will be taxing. And this is but a small token. You must accept it. You must accept my demolishment of my life. It is better to be obedient. Wait, I forgot his accent. It is better to be obedient than to be polite. I will accept your gift. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Priest, please look again. Those cursed peach blossoms. What? Ah, oh, you can see how bad my memory is. Today, whenever you come to a corner, turn left. Do that, and the bad luck will be dispelled. Wow, that is the most simplest spell break I have ever heard. I've watched movies, and I've read certain things to actually dispel actual curses in real life, whether you believe it or not, and that has never come up. Like, oh, the only thing you gotta do is just turn left when you come to a corner. That's like something like a hillbilly would say. It's like, oh, I'll just put a curse on you, the only thing you have to do is just come to a corner and turn left. You know... It's just a usual left curse, right curse thing, you know. I, I don't know. Ah, uh, thank you, priest. Thank you. If you can call yourself one. <laughs> Rice and Turkey watched as the man left, radiating gratitude. They turned to look at Eggnog, somewhat uncertain. Eggnog, is he the amazing person you mentioned? <clears throat> Oh, whoa, somebody is snoring. Needs some water. Yeah, it looks like this place also has some fortune tellers who use crystal balls for divination. Want to give it a try? There's a chance that he can help us find the sacred wine. No, never do that. That is such a bull crap. <clears throat> He's like, the sacred wine is where you last left it. Now, if the sacred wine really is where we first came, I am going to drop kick my phone. <clears throat> but I am going to hug Rice because even though she went on a wild goose chase, if that does happen, I will still hug her because she's so adorable. Anyway. <clears throat> we can try. The Light Kingdom has many people with unusual talents. Perhaps he really is someone special. <clears throat> someone special. It's 4.50. Priest, can you take a look at us, too? Oh, what would you like me to look at, young lady? I don't... I forget what I use him for. I don't... Uh, since you're a food soul, I might not be able to see your future. Nah. How did you know I'm a food soul? Oh, you know, this is a gigantic rice ladle. I mean, soup ladle in front of you, on your arm, and you just looked the part. I saw in you, young lady, a person like fine jade, and knew you weren't an ordinary human. Consulting the signs confirmed my suspicions. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Rice turned her head and looked at Turkey and Eggnog. They were too somewhat astonished. Then... You know what we were going to ask you? The young lady's expression is grave. She's in a hurry to leave. Her aura is faintly black, and her chest also has an accumulation of key. Could it be that she's lost an important article? 
and is in the course of searching for it now see this is where i start to worry because now if he's talking about a certain important article that she's lost is she talk is he talking about the wine or her past her actual past that caused her to have this speech impediment and to also know the languages of long lost can't be read any more languages now is that a thing will that be part if that is ooh, kudos to the to the makers wow spot on spot on ma on hearing turkey speak okay Shang Shan Mao Feng's eyes twinkled in the smirk teasing the corners of his mouth also became a bit more gentle. You wish to ask me where you should go to search for your lost item? Yeah, yeah. Priest, do you know? Seeking an article is but a small task. However, this humble monk, oh shut up, has been without sustenance for an entire day, I fear. Just give him the freaking wine. Give him the rest of the freaking wine. Oh, I'll go prepare for some food. Rice and turkey ex excitedly dragged eggnog to buy food for... Wait, buy food or make food? For Huang Shan. I'm just going to call him Huang Shan. Forget the Mao Fang. Mao Fang? Oh, I don't know. Eggnog, however, looked over his shoulder suspiciously, scrutinizing Huang Shan's smiling face as he waved him goodbye. I knew it. I could sense something else. Just as they could, or he could. Everyone gives in to that. Oh, please teach me, master. Please, let me be your servant. Tell me your, your wildest dreams and hopes and fears and nightmares and give me all your gold. Or tell me I will get all the gold while I give you all my gold. Yeah, that's what people want to be told they get a lot of money in the future. Oh, jeez. Give me something good. That's not good. You suck. Wait a minute. What's that? Ooh, 5,000. Number six. Priest, this is Takoyaki. And this is a chocolate dipped banana. Oh, chocolate dip banana. Do they suit your taste? Oh, very, very good. That's him. That's the fraud of a priest. Oh, I get it. Yucky, yucky. Wait a minute. Did he steal it? Uh oh. <laughs> when, you, when someone comes up and says, There he is. That's the fraud. And somebody says, uh oh, you know he knows. You know they know that they are a fraud. <laughs> it's like uh oh, I'm caught. Any actual person who is set, who is uh actually truthful wouldn't say uh oh. They just say whoa, what? What's going on? You know, ask a bit before you know jumping to conclusions like uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, gotta gotta hoof it. Before the trio could react, Wong Shan had already grabbed hold of the turkey and ducked behind. What? Ducked behind him. Eh. You three must have saved me, in the course of helping you define the, you divine the location of your lost article. That makes more sense now that I think about it. This humble monk broke the covenant and revealed heaven's secrets, thus triggering this disaster. Oh bull crap. Ugh. Okay. Where did that fraud run off to? Cheer that face palm. Mm. He ducked behind Turkey, the shortest one of the group. How tall this man is? He pretty freaking tall, looks like. Eh? Wait, it appears I've stepped on something strange. Wong Chan examined the thing under his feet that he was stepping on. A tail with one monstrous eye. Before he had a chance to move his foot, the ground suddenly started to rumble. The giant fallen into regained consciousness. What? And roared at Wang Shan Mo Feng and Turkey in fury. Let's go complete our duties without fail. What is with these fallen angels? Isn't this supposed to have like some type of security? I mean, when you have thousands of food souls coming together 
or at least under it, because there's like a hundred and nine, maybe, coming together in a food festival, and they just attack everyone. You know, you know that's stupid. Why the heck are they, they gotta be there? I think that I can do better. I think that I can do better. Is there no security? That was really dangerous. Today is full of bad luck for you. Why are you guys acting like this? The priest just helped all of you dispel disasters. It's not through a turn left and I got hit by a car. <laughs> that would be ironic. Mmm, mmm, dispel what disasters? I would barely walked away when I was almost killed by a falling tree. See? You live. Disaster dispelled. Uh, well, from his hiding place being... wait. From his hiding place being Turkey, Huang Shan indignantly puffed up his cheeks like some putrid doohickey bird thing and did some divinations using his fingers. Feeling vindicated, he cried out, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a colon, I'm gonna hear a spiel, get ready, because I'm gonna give him my all, as I can. And what kind of tree fell on you? Well, I, I, I was honestly expecting you to say more. It's, it looks like a peach blossom tree. <clears throat> I told you to turn left. Why did you turn right? I needed to use the bathroom. The bathroom was on the right. Oh my gosh, is he real? I mean, if you can't follow a simple instruction, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, well, this is kind of complicated. I mean, you, this is, this is very philosophical. When you go to a person, you ex extolate and you say like, Oh yes, I believe you 100% and I put my future in your hands. <clears throat> and then they say, Okay, now do exactly what I say or else bad stuff will happen. And you say, Oh yes, I will do anything you say. Thank you, thank you for saving my life. And then you go and do exactly what they say not to do. And then you complain and come back and say, You almost killed me. <laughs> oh man, that's stupid, man. And there's your result. You ran afoul and the peach blossom curse. Did you underestimate peach blossom trees? They're also tied to the peach blossom curse. I'm pretty sure the cheesecake curse is pretty much applied to cheesecake since I can't be around cheesecake and let it live for long. <laughs> so wonder I'm not fat. That's the peach blossom curse. Oh no. What kind of common sense do you have, man? Ugh. This this is forget it. Bad luck be gone. Hmm. Was it an accurate prediction or not? I got no clue, Eggnog. I'm just gonna chalk it up to a coincidence at this point. It... it was still quite accurate. Oh, You're adorable. Coincidences don't happen in your mind. That's right. Priest, in any case, we helped you out. Would you let us take a look at that wine jar you received? Sure! What would you... Do you also like what? The Divine Lord's Vitality Wine is quite delicious. It was a flavor that lingers in the mouth. It's just a shame that the Divine Lord doesn't distribute freely. It only, it's only during the festival that we can do or finally obtain it and have a sip. Rice scrutinized the wine jar and shook her head. The, the trio's shoulders drooped a bit disheartened. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. How long will we need to research? I mean search. The thing you're looking for is to the west. It'll be to the east, right? Eh, really? Of course. I just divined it. Uh, to repay you for saving me, of course. Of course. You can also pay me for that life-saving elixir I told you about earlier. <laughs> Young lady, Fortune will smile upon you today, although the final result may be a bit different from what you expect, as long as you continue to press stalwartly forward. Your wish will definitely become true. 
rise with your bird token back and stared at the smiling Wang Shan in the confusion. Wang Shan simply waved his hand, unwilling to say more. Well, fine, be that way, zip lip. The trio waved goodbye to Wang Shan and stood at the crossroads. Crossroads. My R's turned into W's. <laughs> Hesitating. Do you think we should walk west? The fireworks display is about to start. Hmm, that's a good question. Let's try going west. Everything he said just now was accurate, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's doubt. There's some doubt in there. Yay. I'm going to the rewards. And I'm going to the generation hot pot. I mean points. Claim this crap only. Come back over here to the store and unlock reward. Go over here to the store and see how many we like. Oh, we got Ooh, man. We got only eight left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to do two more of these main stories. Well, three more, possibly. And here we go. Yes. Oh, wait. I only need six more. Oh no, the the doggy's barking. The doggy's barking. Oh no. No! Don't bark, doggy, no! Doggy, no! Ring toss. Dun dun. Oh yeah. Did I mention I got over a million, million uh, coins? It turned into uh, 10810K. I'm not sure what 0K means, but oh well. Wait, did I not choose? There we go. Ooh, only three left. <laughs> Still recording. Right. It's almost been two hours. Let's go. Gotta finish this up. Ooh. Once after this one, we got it. The trio followed the road west. In front of them, once again, a crowd several layers deep had gathered around the stage. All right. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The beauty pageant is about to begin. Is there anyone else who wants to register? A beauty pageant? Rice, I think you should go. You could definitely win the prize. No, she's not beautiful. She freaking cute. Okay, she's beautiful. Does that little boy over there want to join? <laughs> you would fit in perfectly. Wait, what? Who are they talking about? Little boy. They're talking about you, little man. I mean, little boy. Not a man yet. <laughs> How is that possible? What does the beauty pageant have to do with me? <laughs> Take a look at the people up on stage. Oh, new. No. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what? Wait. Up on stage, Hot Dog became aware of the trio's gaze and waved at them enthusiastically. Wait a minute. Hi. Tayaki, let go of me. I don't want to wear a skirt. Oh, no. He looks like a Lin. Holy crap, he looks a lot like a Lin. But wait, wait a minute. Hot Dog's not a girl? Oh no. I thought it was a girl. With a deep voice. Steak. Oh, Bloody Mary. Oh, wait. That's a man? Oh, I, I got confused. This is a weird. Steak, didn't you say he would come to watch? Hello? Turkey. What's that guy doing here? D don't overthink things. Anyway, do you want to give this a try? The MC thinks you'd be perfect for it. You're the one suited for women's clothes. Hey, I don't wear women's clothes. I take them off. The winner of the beauty pageant will re Wait a minute, the back of that head looks like chocolate. Oh wait, there's rice over there. I don't know who that is over there in the, the yellow hat. I don't know. The winner of the beauty pageant will receive the Divine Lord's Vitality Wine. Oh yeah. Turkey, do you think this is what Wong Shan was also talking about? Is this West? <laughs> is this West? Adam West. It is, but you shouldn't force yourself, you know? We made a promise to Rice. Do you dare tell her no? Yes. Rice, I don't want to do it. No. <laughs> Get up there and do it. Eggnog, don't push me. Don't bark at me. Sorry, it's a doggy. Dun dun. Big brother, do your best. You're the most beautiful. Yay. Dorayaki, you can do it. You guys, stop running around. Sakura Mochi, you're supposed to be watching them. This is a rare celebration. Let's just let everyone have some fun. Oh, I agree. Let's all have some fun. 
Funzy onesy punsies. No puns in this corner. <laughs> oh, come on. That's Strawberry Daifuku. That way is the stage. You can't go there. Oh, Bonito Rice? Sanma is really busy. That's because everyone has confidence in him. Big Brother, do your best. And don't forget that the doggy's barking, because a doggy that barks will get the spade. Like I said. The trio quietly watched the noisy group at the very front of the stage. This style of dress is from Sakurajima. Whoop. <laughs> that was a totally out of sync character. No way, Sakurajima isn't. Shh, your voices are too loud. Anyway, what are we going to do about that wine jar? I don't know if the winner here will be willing to trade it with us. When, when did you buy all of this food? We were running for so long, I got a bit hungry. Besides, how can we watch a competition without snacks? Do you want some? Yo, I want some. I never realized you could eat so much. You must be fat in later years. It's not my fault the Light Kingdom's food is so delish. Yeah, I agree. I like Light Kingdom food. I'm mean, gonna make it myself, so you know I gotta make it. I'm gonna poop my face on that one. That little box where I can get crystals. No, I should have went the Let's airship. Let's complete our duties without fail. I am devouring another cookie. Forward, please. No! What? Forward. No! Mm. Oh, come on. Forward. Oh. Yes. After several rounds of competition. Okay, the voters in the audience and the evaluation committee have reached a unanimous decision. Our champion has emerged. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Big brother is definitely my big brother. Yep. Nope. It's not. It ain't nobody because we done stole it. Oh my, we also have a lot of support for Doriaki, but I'm sorry, our champion this time is this beauty, our very own Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, who's actually a dude in a suit. But check out those abs. Hmm, what is, what's this about me? Didn't you say Steak was coming to watch anyone? Why are you so intrinsic about, oh, it's Steak? I mean, I don't understand. What is it with alcohol and steak and meat in this game <laughs> alcohol and meat this is weird i don't know uh could it be that you just spouted some nonsense in order to trick me into participating i mean i'm an mc that's what that's what i do that's well mm. uh, don't get worked up now that's save me calm down calm down <laughs> Well, he must, uh, well, well, he is walking around with a gigantic skull, so I understand. I better keep my fingers away from the phone because I am about to hit the skip button. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Everyone watched as Bloody Mary grabbed the MC by the collar. A somewhat cold voice drifted up from the below the stage. Bloody Mary, you've really gone too far. Oh, it's Pretzel coming to... Oh my gosh, I never noticed his his uh, fist cuffs. Those are some needles. Oh, I gotta take some time to just simply admire the art and the character designs. What's that guy doing here? I don't know, maybe it's a festival. And the last time he went to a festival, it didn't turn out good. Dummy. Hey, Bloody Mary, your, your prize. Your prize. Here, take it the prize. <laughs> Bloody Mary didn't have time to respond to the MC. He jumped down from the stage, moving one step faster than Pretzel, and fled like a madman. 
like a complete mad lad into the cover of the crowd. Without any chance of his expression, Pretzel also ran into the crowd, giving chase. The champion ran off, so the prize goes to the second place. Come here, you cutie patootie. Congratulations, cutie patootie. Oh, it's Doriaki. Cootie patootie. That's, that's literally something what I would say. That is literally something I would say. Hooray! An opening. <laughs> it's mine. Hey, it's you again. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You want to eat concrete again? Let's go complete our duties without fail. Don't worry, I'll let you eat concrete again. Half a second this time. One miss. There you go. <laughs> Well, these guys are weak. Eggnog tugged at Tanuki's cheeks and sighed in exasperation. It's you, over and over again. Are you tired? Aren't you tired? Why, you guys pick up us some fallen angels. That's not what that said. Are you going to stop stealing people's belongings? Why, I'm gonna look for Lady Inugami. She'll avenge me. You're not dead. Turkey dug the wine jar out of the dark corner where Tanuki had hid it. It way up. He turned around and handed the wine to Doriaki. This is your prize. Hurry and take it. Congratulations on winning. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't... Wine... Rice. Rice didn't check the wine. Oh, no. I thought, thank you. Um, would it be okay if we borrowed your wine and had a look at it? It'll just take a minute. Of course you can. Oh, you're sweet. Uh, Rice... Quick, come look. After expressing her gratitude towards Doriaki and the others, Rice con conscientiously inspected the wine that Doriaki had handed her. A moment later, she handed the wine back and shook her head at the turkey and eggnog. She looked a bit perplexed. Oh no, Rice. Could it be that Mr. Wangshan Malfang really is a fraud? This is this joy, isn't it either? Oh, what should we do now? Shut up and do it, please. Come on, come on. Oh, I've got enough to ascend rise now. <gasps> I got it! Yay! Yay! Whee! Whee! <laughs> I got her! Yay! Now, the question is, should we continue the story? I mean, we only like four left, and it's a beautiful day. Let's go, we can look at Ross later. 5,000, oh, you know it, you know it. Okay, just when the three of them were at their wit's end, Eggnog saw something far off in the distance. He knitted his brows tightly, as if he remembered something, but the memory was still foggy. Eggnog, what are you looking at? Rice, what's happening over there? Rice and Turkey looked at the direction Eggnog was pointing. There was a wide open space and a large number of people were scattered around it, sitting on tablecloths and they had spread on the ground. Ah, oh, how could I forget about the fireworks display? You did and you told us, remember? We had told Turkey. Ah, oh, fireworks display? Wait a minute, you told us. That's right, that place is the westernmost part of the festival grounds. The Divine Lord stole it himself. Wants to hold a fireworks display there, so a large area was cleared. The venerable, venerable, divine lord sought out many artisans to prepare the Light Kingdom's most beautiful fireworks. She doesn't have that many commas when she's on the main game, right? But what does the fireworks display have to do with the wine? The jar of sacred wine, that's the venerable... Divine Lord, prepared as a lucky draw prize, requires a very good storage environment. So, before the lucky draw, it will be put in a wine, co wine cellar behind the lucky draw stage. That place should also have wine. Aw. Uh, perhaps 
The festival shopkeeper sent the sacred wine there. <laughs> it was just, it was passed around until it, until in the end, it unexpectedly wound up where it was meant to be. It would, <clears throat> it would be wonderful if that really was the case. Let's go quickly and look. Yay. I don't know why I did that. I just saw the moon and went, Doo! Anyway, as the trio ran towards the wine cellar, a familiar figure blocked their path. Champagne angrily caught the doll with one that was thrown at him. What? Hey, you guys, don't push your luck. I clearly gave this to you. How could you give it to those pipsqueaks? What? Fondant cake? Whoa. You gave it to me. So I can do with it as I please. You have no right to interfere. Oh dang, she got sass. But it's pretty disheartening when you give a pretty girl uh, like a, a little tiny like, Oh, here's a stuffed teddy bear. And she's like, Oh, thank you. And gives it to someone else. It's like, I don't need your pity. <laughs> I got my own teddy. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mr. Champagne? Eggnog and Turkey stared, stupefied, in front of them. The ever-arrogant and conceited Champagne wore an expression they'd never seen before. Even Rice, who had only recently met Champagne for the first time, couldn't help doubting her own eyes. What? And Champagne was also startled when he noticed them. He hastily stood up straight and reassumed his customary elegant demeanor. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We, we're still searching for the sacred wine. You know, the thing you probably stole since you're so freakishly angry, I don't know. Oh, I really had no idea. I, honestly, I'm just saying everybody stole it. Eggnog stole it, Turkey stole it, Rice stole it, I stole it, the Divine Lord stole his own wine, I don't know, Champagne. Anybody, fallen angels, I don't care. Everybody stole it. Everybody goes to jail. Mass jail. The world is a jail, so no, don't put anybody in behind bars. It's just the way it works, people. It's just the way it works. Oh, I really had no idea. You also had this side to you. <gasps> Mrs. Dur Champagne. That'd be weird. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's important to relax once in a while. That's your excuse? Whoa, 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 who, who's that? Holy crap, that does not look like eggnog. Holy crap, that does not look like eggnog. But dang, Rice's eyes. Oh, oh, and they're off in the back there. It's like, hey, look, I got you this big gigantic bunny stuffed animal toy. I don't need it. I got my own stuffed animal toy. But I got it just for you. Well, I'll give it to someone else. No, don't do that. I'll hurt my feelings. I don't like your feelings. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Take the money. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting very tired. <laughs> At that moment, Eggnog noticed a pretty young woman in a blue skirt standing in front of the children. Children? In her hands, the young woman was still holding the cute doll that Champagne had specially picked up from among the shooting gallery's prizes. He couldn't stop himself from smiling slightly. And holy crap, what's wrong with Turkey? It looks like he's going to stab Eggnog right in the back. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt him, though. Champagne? Who is this? Why don't you introduce us? Hmm, he not going to do it. As Champagne was debating how he should best introduce his opponent, Fonda Kent gracefully extended a hand towards Eggnog. Hello, I'm Fonda Cake, the kingdom's priestess. Really? Whoa. You're the venerable? Vi oh. Oh, crap. Venerable? Priestess? That doll? Ah, uh, Champagne gave it to me. Oh, okay. Champagne gave it to you? Oh, he's smoothing. He tried to smooth, but he ain't smooth. 
Mm Mm-hmm. He said he wanted, but he didn't want it. And he asked me to help him dispose of it. I... He at... What? Now I understand exactly why you did it. I would have done the same thing. Well, you told me to dispose of it. Don't say... I like, oh, I'm going to keep it because it was from you. No. If you say, hey, help me dispose of this. I'm like, okay. So you want it to dispose it by way of fire, drowning, recycling, give it to someone else. No, no. I thought it was really cute. So I gave it to these children instead. What's wrong with that? Actually, nothing. If he said exactly that. Oh, no. Oh. He didn't want. (laughs) You lot. Hmm? What's wrong? Venerable priestess, let me explain. He actually... Turkey! Turkey roared at by champagne. Turkey stuck out his tongue and quickly fled. (laughs) You are such a kid. But man, do you look angry. Eggnog and... and a very flustered rice politely said goodbye to the couple and oh they're a couple now and chased after turkey hmm champagne what did they want to say nothing why is he blushing to be that he likes that girl who just here Ugh. with this attitude how will he ever win over the person he likes oh no oh, oh no Don't you hate it when it happens? So it's like instant friends. I was like, oh, you like this girl, don't you? No. Like, oh, don't lie to me. I'm not. (laughs) Well, then who do you like? You. No, you like this other girl. You'll you love this. I'll set you up on a date, and then they go set you up on a date, and you don't do it because it's just weird. So I wanted you. That's some type of new song thing? I don't know. I'm tired. My jaw hurts from talking so much. No, please, forward. Forward. No. Fine. It's not that long. The trio had arrived at the side of the wine cellar. Rice hurriedly fished a key out of her pockets. However, when they opened the door of the wine cellar, in the doorway once again saw a familiar silhouette. Amazake. What are you doing back here? Wow, why didn't I didn't expect them to show up again? <gasps> oh, I got hiccups now. They've been hindering me all day. Eisen. Oh no. Who is it? Wait, is that a guy or gal? Who cares? <laughs> Amazake moved aside and Aizen tottered forward. Already red faced from drinking and somewhat confused, he pointed at the big pile of wine jars to his left and belched. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A legitimate burp scene. Huh. <laughs> That was not a good burp. <coughs> that wasn't a good burp either. <coughs> I don't know. I will go with something artificial. Cure the sound effect. <coughs> That's good. Why? It's you guys. Chasing us for so long. You've really been working hard. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. <laughs> yeah. That's. Don't say another word. It's too late to beg for mercy. Hey, are you too scared to move? He's starting up again. It's over. Who'd have guessed he's completely unreliable when he's drunk? He, it'd be better if I took this opportunity to escape. Oh, no, you don't, concrete kisser. Out of my way. Today, I, I, Eisen, I've been looking for them. For payback. <laughs> Look at their faces, you guys. They're scared to death. Do we still want to fight him? If we fought him right now, it wouldn't feel like a real victory. Nah, just beat a face into the concrete. 
or the oceans, doesn't matter. Uh, that's the Divine Lord's sacred wine. It's okay, it hasn't been drunk yet. Please give it back to us. Uh, this is my treasure. Uh, not giving it to you. My treasure. Gonna drink it while I watch the fireworks. You better not drink it. I really don't want to fight a drunkard. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. But there's no other way. Let's go complete our duties without fail. I believe this is the final one. Is this the final one, I say? Cookie? Oh! Oh! I think that I can do better. Hmm. Well, I'm out of water. Eisen fell to the ground, his face beaten bloody to a pulp. Orange juice pulp even though he'd been laid out. He continued to reach for the wine as Rice carried it away. It's like, no, no, my wine. No, I wanted that. I'm not drunk enough. <laughs> I find that both funny and pitiable at the same time. Why can't you just stay put when you're drunk? <laughs> Amazake propped Aizen up and helped him to walk. The trio moved out of their way, following them with their eyes as they left. We've been running into lots of fallen angels all day today. After all, it is a festival. In any case, it's happened a lot. Rice, hurry and see if the Divine Lord's sacred wine is alright. Ah, it's fine. <sighs> Sigh. We eventually finally found it. Thank you. You don't have to thank us. We didn't do anything. Oh, that's what I always say too. You know it, eggnog. That's right, we had a lot of fun, and the food here is really good. Remember when I said, uh, the part about alcohol and, uh, meat? Um, have you noticed eggnog is an alcoholic beverage, but is big friends with turkey, which is a meat? What is up with that? Does that have something to do with meat sweats and alcohol or something? I'm not sure. Oh, ah, it's almost time. Let's quickly go to the return the wine. We can still make it to the fireworks display. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. The trio took the wine and returned it to the lucky draw area where the fireworks display center. The shopkeeper saw that the lost sacred wine had been recovered and thanked the trio profusely. We're really too grateful to you. None of us knew what to do until you guys helped us out now here. Rice attendant must be really amazing for recruiting such an amazing food soul to help us out, man. Now, it's a bust a move, bust a rhymes or something. Because you a lot of trouble today. Luckily, in the end, we found a way. I can bust the rhyme too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you guys ought to try, draw a ticket too. Draw a ticket too. Draw a ticket too. Oh, we could draw two. We could draw two. No, you could draw one, but I could draw two. Yeah, you too can draw. No, no, I want to draw two. No, you cannot draw two. One per person. So I can draw two. What? Consider it a thank you for helping us get the prize back. Uh. Come back soon, as expected. Eggnog, what about you? Thanks for your support. Rice, how about you? Great luck and great fortune. This shopkeeper, what does this mean? Oh, congratulations. What does that mean? Rice watched, not comprehending, as she always does, as the shopkeeper suddenly broke into applause. Yay! He grabbed the bell next to his hand and started shaking it. ding a ding a ling a bing Congratulations! Today's grand prize winner has emerged. Rise! Congratulations! Ah! Me? I won the grand prize? Ooh, that's right. The jar of sacred wine that was bestowed by the Divine Lord belongs to you, Rice. What? You stole it? Oh! I'm gonna slam you into next Tuesday, dude. Rice, you're really lucky. She sure is. 
Now you can give the sacred wine to your attendant. That way they can become immortal. Just like the divine lord. Master attendant, if I'll let master attendant drink this, then we can be together forever. Huang Xuan's Malfang's prediction really was accurate. Oh no, she's forgetting the fact that I'm a tuna. I'm not a human, so I can't live forever. What? What is, what is this? QR scanner, I don't want to go QR scan- what? What was that? Recording in progress. Okay, it's still recording though. Been recorded for two hours and a half. But, he said things would be a bit different from what I had hoped. What could that mean? Ah, uh, what do you mean immortal? Uh, isn't that the sacred wine from the legends? That the divine lord drank to become immortal? <laughs> Where did you hear that? Crocobole. Crocobole. Did you know there was a croc that in this leg that has a bull face? Mm, don't go near it. Uh, it's not. It's not. This is the vitality wine that the Divine Lord gave to everyone. This jar of wine is the best jar out of all the vitality wine. It's said that if you drink it, you'll be blessed and won't get sick for a full year. So, we call it sacred wine. Oh, gee. What was it? That's what it is? Uh, rice? That's okay. I'm really happy just to receive it. Ah, look guys, the fireworks. Kaboom, where'd the moon go? Oh no, you explored the moon just like in Dragon Ball Z. Oh no, everyone's going to be assaulted by gigantic flaming gorilla monsters. A lot of stuff going down the road. <laughs> the other people looked at where Rice was pointing. Clusters of gorgeous, dazzling fireworks rose up in the air, then burst open just like somebody's chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. From forming the most exquisite patterns, everyone's faces shined a rainbow of colors, reflecting the colorful lights of the fireworks. Yeah. Turkey and Eggnog stole a glance at Rice who was engrossed in watching the fireworks, seeing that her face really had no trace of disappointment, despite her dreams being dashed. They sighed over in relief, and started to earnestly watch the fireworks as well. Yuan Xing Mo Feng. <laughs> this is what he was saying. But even if I can make Master Attendant immortal, I can still stay by Master Attendant's side forever. I can't indefinitely make this wish come true. Definitely. Oh, she's out for holistic or just wholesome stuff. Yay. Main store passed. I passed the stone of the wet story. I'm, wet what? A main story. Wet story? Where did that come from? Might as well do these. Hmm, so we got one. rice. Oh, wait. Okay, just screw that. <laughs> screw that. Wait, go back. Wait, go back. Oh, no. I need to get 50, I mean, 5 million. I'm not going to have enough time to do that since I've already completed it. Uh, my current rank. Okay. At least I'm in this one. So I get the, fi I get 15 shards. I kind of like 50. Well, actually, I like. I would really like the 391, but I'm never gonna get that way. And actually, hold on. Food souls. Well, I guess I should just do this. I got enough for yogurt. Yay, yogurt! Lactic acid bacteria is absolutely essential. Yes, it is. Don't forget. It also tastes really nasty. Yay. So I got yogurt, rice. I got rice, yes. You know what I gotta do? Full upgrade. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I didn't hear anything. No, she doesn't have a character voice. No, man. I can send her though. I can send her again. I can send her again. Holy crap, her power is so wickedly low. She definitely not built for battle. But, restaurant skill. Oh, she's adorable. Let me 
upgrade these. Oh, I finally got rice. That's nice. Hmm, rice and cheese. Special event gals. And honestly, I don't know why, but I instantly got eggnog when I first went into the uh the thing, that event thing, because I didn't even play anything. I just went in, it's like, hey, here's eggnog. I was like, okay. I didn't even know I got him until like a three days after I started, which was yesterday. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so there he is. I'm not sure how he's gonna talk. Oh no, he doesn't have a character voice actor. Oh no, he's too new. He's too new. Oh no, man. Oh man. Pull, pull. But dang. Rice. That's awesome. I got it. I got it. I want some more rotted. Right Bleh. Hmm. Maybe I can add some more. Nope. Sold out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something else important. That ends at the exact same time this whole thing ends. Not that. Oh, dang. Summon. I'll, I can only summon one, but you know. Ow. Ha, I am Tempura. Shut up. Haven't you heard of me? Whatever happens in the future, I will be by your side, Ooh. ready with my firepower. Wait, does that mean I can get fondant cake? Let's just summon six, okay? Okay. Yep. Yep. Regulars. Oh, steak. I already have you. This sword in my hands shall be forever loyal to you. Okay, I'll take it. Well, I just got you. Ooh. Oh, yes. I'm getting excited. Oh, okay. So Sweet Tofu has a brother known as Sour Tofu. No wait, uh, it was uh, Salty Tofu or something. Oh no, I didn't get it. But I got six. You will go. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something great. You not great. No. Okay. I actually didn't know that the sweet and delicious event, which I can get this. No, it lands in 12 hours. Osmanthus cake shard. Collect enough to summon Osmanthus cake. Can also be used to ascend Osmanthus. Or do I want fondant cake? Oh no. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just gonna buy one of the one of her, just to have her on the board and unlucky number but still I'll probably never get her again oh I could use one of those and get 15 of those firecrackers I could use it four times oh man you know how much that would give me oh now I gotta check see everything in that purchases I'm not doing that joy celebration I've already done that Memories revisit. Okay, I've already done that. Daily sign in. Okay, I've done that. Done it, done it, done it, done it, done it, done it, done it. Been told the light. Yes, that is whiskey. This is whiskey. Okay. Now that's pretty good a place to end it because A, I don't want to do anything else. <sighs> I'm tired. So I'm just going to go to bed. Because it's 5.52 a.m. And it's at 8%. So, if you want more Vocaloid or gaming content, press that subscribe button. If you want to see more Food Fantasy, if there's any special events you want to see, then go ahead and click that like button as well. I think we'll come back. I know you'll come back for some more Food Fantasy, where this is the longest episode I've ever done. Thank you for not, you know, being mad at all this. I'm sorry. Catch it next time. Well, I eat a cookie. Nah.
I'm going to stop eating cookies, okay? I don't have any water anyway. Okay, bye.